Okay, today we're going to talk about the brand new Radius 1000, American Audio. As some of you know, American Audio was one of the first companies to have tabletop CD players, the first company to have tabletop CD players with touch-sensitive scratching, sampling, effects, everything in a nice package. This is the latest in a long line of very successful, very high-value tabletop CD players. So let's take a minute, we'll walk through it. First thing you'll notice is super bright VFT display. It um, has a beat counter on it, has your time. If you have an MP3 CD with the artist and the song title, it will come up. It tells you we're playing a conventional CD right there. Um, the other thing about it that's really cool about this screen is you can see it from a lot of different angles. Sometimes people use other screens that when you get to the side, they get washed out. So very expensive, very bright VFT display. We also have our folder button, track button, advanced track search, fast search, search, our looping section, in, out, and reloop, which we're going to cover a lot in the future, time signature buttons, parameter buttons, which we're going to cover, nine different onboard effects, filter, echo, transformer, skid, phase, flange, pan, and reverse. We have our three sample banks down here, which are good for cue points, loop points, or samples, of our sample sequencer, pitch control, pitch bend, pitch on and off, master tempo, pitch range selector, large scratch wheel, scratch function buttons, your cue and your play and pause. And then one of the most important things about the Radius 1000 is, check this out, it says MIDI, becomes a full-blown MIDI controller just at the press of a button. You can actually play a CD and do MIDI control at the same time. All available on the hot new Radius 1000 from American Audio. Okay, the first thing you're going to notice about the Radius 1000 is a large illuminated jog or scratch wheel, which you need to feel this in your dealers. You need to play with it. It feels awesome. Super, super sensitive. You can actually adjust the sensitivity of the wheel. What we're going to show you right now is how you can actually go in and customize or personalize the wheel for how you want it. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the folder button, hold that down, you'll see jog mode. There's actually a lot of things on the Radius 1000 that you can customize or personalize. Next thing, we're going to press the parameter button. This is the first mode, second mode, third mode, fourth mode. It's actually going to the beat of the music right now. Kind of cool in a dark club. Next mode, we call it the heartbeat. The next one, which is just small. And then the next one, where now it is touch sensitive and it's just gonna illuminate when I touch. So that is setting the eight different modes of the jog wheel. Again, something really cool about the Radius 1000 where you can personalize it to your individual taste. The next section we're gonna talk about is the effects section. On the Radius 1000, we have nine onboard effects. There's a couple different ways to use them. We have flanger, echo, transformer, skid, hold if you want to lock in your favorite effect, phaser, flange, pan, and reverse. Let's start with the flanger. So typical flanger, there's a couple ways to control this, again, personalizing your sound. We have our parameter knobs. This is the milliseconds, and this is <coughs> here, wet, dry. So I can actually, just like on a large PA console, a recording console, I can use barely any effect, or I can use a lot of effect. I can customize how quick I want it to go. Maybe in the background you can hear it speeding up, or lengthening out. So I have total control over my effects. They're not preset. The other thing that's cool is all my effects are automatically locked to the beat of the music. So I can do quarter note, half note, three-quarter note, whole notes, etc. So trying to fiddle with it to get right on the beat of the music, I don't have to do that anymore. Automatic on the Radius 1000. Really helpful for echo effects. Transformer. I have a skid effect as well, which is a lot like a break on a turntable. So I've got it on a long setting. Now we're going to wind it back up. Just like I'm playing my old records. Phaser effect, flanger effect, and for stereo sound systems you have pan, where you can pan between the speakers. 
and then reverse. Notice the light actually goes forward and backwards as well as we go into the reverse mode. Total control on the effects, sync the effects up to the beat of the music, easy access to the effects. No thick, long owner's manuals needed. Everything's labeled clean, easy to use. Create your custom sound right on the fly. What's cool is I can actually do multiple effects as well. Whichever effect is blinking is what my wheel and controls are going to work on. Actually, for the transformer, you want to go short. There we go. So, right at your fingertips, American Audio Effects on the Radius 1000. Okay, right now we're going to talk about the looping and the sampling on the Radius 1000. You have three loop or sample positions on the unit. We have our in, out, and re-loop, so let's go ahead and put some loops in there. Just hit memory, put it in, you're good to go. We're going to fill up all three of them. I don't know how good these are going to be. It's three in the morning on New Year's right now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so now we've got three loops in there. We're good to go. We can actually bounce between the loops. We can also do something really, really cool. We can put it in sample mode and play the loop on top of the music. Now what's really cool about this is why the loop's playing. That's my loop. That's my CD. So I can have multiple things going on at once, which is pretty cool. Now the other th cool thing about this is a lot of units have uh, samplers out there. On this, I can actually pop the CD out while I'm playing the sample. The other thing that's cool is I have pitch control and volume for my sample. So I can actually turn my sample up and down or adjust the speed. That's my pitch and that's my volume right there. So I have total control over my sample just like I would a CD.